Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So I just wanted to give you guys like a channel update and kind of inform you guys of what games I'm going to be playing and what's going to be happening on the channel. Uh, but first and foremost, I want to talk about Path of Exile content. If you guys are not aware, I usually play for like the first month to first two months of the league. Uh, and then I kind of get bored and go do some other stuff. Uh, mainly play like Warcraft 3 custom games. But moving on. So the last two leagues, so I guess the past six months, I've kind of been dancing between Solo Southbound Hardcore and Solo Southbound Softcore. This league, I pretty much entirely played Solo Southbound Softcore. I did get to like 93 in Solo Southbound Hardcore. Was not really happy with the Syndicate balance, decided to reroll in Softcore. Got like two or three level 94 characters or something. Uh, you know, we did private leagues this go around and I just wasn't really... I mean, it was fun, don't get me wrong, I really liked the introduction of, like, Incursion, uh, and Delve, and, uh, you know, all the shit that basically we were able to do, but at the same time, I don't know, I guess it was something with just almost, like, too much to do? I know that sounds really weird, um, but I guess it's just not really what I'm used to from Path of Exile. Uh, anyway, though, overall, I was still really happy with the League. Did not enjoy Syndicate one bit. I liked the targeted Syndicate farming. I disliked how random a lot of the stuff was, and I really disliked the screen clutter uh, that happened, and then the fact that it took like a month for them to actually kind of like balance Syndicate. I realized that's like, you know, it was a huge time for uh, uh, for vacation for them since it was the holidays, uh, but I just was not really, you know, happy with that. Now, anyway, though, you know, whining and crying aside, let's talk about, you know, future content. So. Next league in Path of Exile, I've decided I'm going to be migrating back to Trade League Hardcore. Now, the reason why I'm not going to be playing Solo Cell Found, I do really like it, I really enjoy it, but the reason why I went to Solo Cell Found is because I truly was burnt out of the game, and it was either don't play Path of Exile or try something new, right? So I tried, it sol I tried Solo Cell Found, and it's a lot of fun, um, but at the same time, I don't really like the trading in Path of Exile, but it's just trading makes the game enabling, you know? Um, when you play SSF, you're always starved for currency, you know? It's kind of like every scour alt you use on something that you shouldn't is kind of like a mistake, whereas in a trade league, you can just kind of do whatever you want because you can always just purchase it. So crafting becomes much more accessible. Really odd and quirky builds become accessible right away because you can just purchase that one alt leveling item, right? Uh, deaths are a lot less frequent because you can stack layers of defense much easier. And I want to, this go around, um, play some more maybe like meta style builds. When I say meta style, I don't mean like the meta that people are playing. I mean more so like builds I know are going to work from the beginning. Now, normally, uh, I've been playing like Death's Oath and Righteous Fall. Actually, I haven't really played much RF, but Death's Oath has mainly been, you know, the main thing that I've played. This go around, I kind of already have a build idea for next league. Uh, emphasis on like defensive characters. Uh, I actually want to try a Juggernaut. Now, I'm not going to tell you specifically, you know, I'm going to keep a little bit of a secret, but I definitely want to try out uh, Juggernaut as probably my league starter. I don't know if you guys know, but I've really like never played Juggernaut. Even Juggernaut Righteous Fire, it's just not really something that I play. Um, I've never really been too much of a fan of like the left side of the tree because I usually play casters. Um, yeah, anyway, just letting you guys know that I'm going to be going back to Trade League for next league, which means most likely no private league. Now, uh, everything is up in the air though, but this is kind of what I've gathered for now. So, uh, there's also a Grim Dawn expansion coming. I'm not exactly sure when, but they did say quarter one of 2019, and we're in 2019. Um, actually, by the way, my birthday passed. I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, I turned 26. Holy shit, I'm old. Uh, on the 23rd of January. But anyway... So Grim Dawn expansion is going to be dropping soon. They've been doing a lot of quality of life with Grim Dawn. So one of the big things they did is if you've gotten a character to ultimate already, which is basically, um, you know, you clear the game on normal, then you clear on the next difficulty, then you clear it on ultimate. I believe they said that you can purchase like a token or something and just go right into the last difficulty. Not sure how the scaling works on anything. I haven't really done much research. It's just kind of what I've heard. Um, also, if you guys don't know, there's a huge thing happening in Grim Dawn in this expansion. Two things. Number one, it's themed around a desert, and you know, I'm a Middle Eastern baby, so I love the desert, so all, all for them. Uh, but on a real note, there's a new class coming out called Oathbreaker. Oathbreaker is going to be the second class in Grim Dawn that is going to have passives revolving around a shield. 
previously it was soldier and that's it so if you wanted to use a shield and you want it to be defensive your subclass is now or main class is soldier blank or blank soldier so oathbreaker is going to add a really nice twist hopefully to the different types of combinations that you can do um, i had a lot of fun in median xl um, a lot more fun than i thought i was going to have actually until i hit around level 120. if you guys looked at some of the content i've posted um i basically had like a hammered hammered zon it was like a hammered in from d2 but it was an amazon um was fun but overall my problem with d2 and i'm not saying this is really anything with median xl it's just diablo 2 right it's an older game created on an older engine so no matter what you do to it because i never really played much of diablo 2 back in the day it's just i'm limited with how much time i can give it before it starts annoying me or frustrating me right definitely 100 percent going to check out the next meeting XL uh, expansion and or maybe even just a ladder reset whenever that's going to happen because I truly did have so much fun in the game uh, respecting characters, messing around with different things, learning the game, learning what's broken and I didn't even clear all the content. I think the highest content is locked at 135 and I was only 120 so I didn't even do much, like I mean I did it quite a bit but I didn't get into like the crazy hard grinding and farming. I basically hit 120, got a little bored uh, because I didn't like how how my spec cleared you know i wanted more uh you know like when you play poe you can like one shot a whole pack i was trying to get that in d2 but it was just really clunky you know like sometimes i'd kill them all sometimes i'd miss sometimes you fight a mob that runs away and i was just trying to find the balance but uh, i think this next go around i'm gonna look for procs on items to try to fix that rather than just building around the soul skill maybe like a combination of different things um yeah and then if you guys don't know i have to say this all the time so Whenever Warcraft Reforged drops, expect to see all of my content on YouTube turn into Reforged content because I've been waiting since I was a kid. I've been playing Warcraft 3 custom games since 2002, I think on Reign of Chaos. 2003, I believe, is when Frozen Throne dropped. And I play Warcraft now pretty much every single day. We have custom games always being hosted on the stream. You know, RPGs, Tower Defenses. Tower Defense is a huge one. PvP maps, AOS maps, a bunch of different stuff. So... That's always a bunch of fun. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much covers majority of what I was going to say. Uh, but before I go ahead and end the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting every day on YouTube. Just, you know, sometimes I don't have much content to produce and it's just really like VODs of, the, of Twitch. So I would rather like wait a little bit and then release something like this for you guys. But before I go, like I said... I want you guys to say hello to the little buddy that I know you guys have missed, so. The beast must not be disturbed. Mini K? What you doing, Mini K? This is Mini K's little cat tree. He likes to sleep inside his uh, little spot there. I'll just give you guys a nice little zoom in if you're interested in seeing Mr. Mini K in his his prime habitat. It's a nice foot you got there, buddy. Anyways, those guys, I'm going to see you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. See you guys all tomorrow.